a moment to reflect on something here that happened recently that I thought was interesting. As you probably don't know, February 3rd is a type of national holiday here in Japan. It's not a day off, but it is a national celebration of sorts. It's called Setsubun, which literally means division of the seasons. It's the date on the old Japanese calendar where winter turned to spring. And uh, it's associated with the Lunar New Year, so it also has some ideas of purification uh, and cleaning, cleansing kind of going on. So there are traditions associated with it, most famously uh, the throwing of roasted soybeans called fukumame, literally lucky beans or fortune beans, that um, uh, are thrown at devil spirits, oni. And so traditionally, the usually the father will dress up as an oni, as a devil, with a you know devil mask, and the kids will throw these lucky beans at him to drive him out the door, and then they <clears throat> slam the door behind him. And uh, they're singing this song about Oniwa Soto Fukuwa Uchi, literally, devil out, good luck in. It's just, uh, you know, just one of those cultural things that happens. And uh, I've known about this in, since I've lived here, but uh, not being a parent, I've never really paid any attention to it. Of course, now that I am a parent, uh, we have these kinds of silly traditions, cultural things. But... Uh, recently, just this month, for the first time, I went to the, uh, well, at, at various shrines around Japan, they have some version of this, usually where they'll throw out some of these special, blessed by the Shinto priests, roasted soybeans that are, you know, extra special good luck or whatever. <clears throat> and so we went to our local shrine this year with uh, my wife and kids, <clears throat> and they were doing a thing where they would throw out these bags of rice cakes as well, and if you get a bag with a certain number in it, then that number corresponds to a prize, and you get the prize. And these prizes were nothing special. It was like boxes of Kleenex and stuff. I mean, it was really nothing. It wasn't like a brand new car or anything. So, um, so here we are, and it's the middle of the afternoon on a Friday, and again, it's not a national holiday, so, um, it was really only us and a bunch of old people, like senior citizens, in their 60s at least, probably 70s. And then there was a, maybe another one or two families there. Um, but but basically it was like 50 or 60 people at, at most that were competing to catch these rice cakes. I had no idea what was going on. My wife just dragged me to it. Uh, I wish I'd taken video of it, but I didn't. I really didn't know what was going on. So... Um, so there we, we kind of line up and the Shinto priests go inside the shrine and they do and they close the doors and do some kind of blessing or whatever to the soybeans and the rice cakes. And then they open it up and they start throwing these things. And the idea, again, you're supposed to catch them and, uh, you know, try to get one of the ones with a special number in it so you get a prize. So it starts and they start throwing it out. And I've got our little daughter, who's not even one year old yet, so... I'm holding her, and then everyone crowds around the, the door where they're throwing out the rice cakes. So I just held back. and So I was watching this play out mostly, and they're throwing out the rice cakes and whatever. And people are running into each other, pushing each other over, literally pushing, like old granny, grandmas and grandpas, ojisan, obasan, pushing each other over and falling down and, and hurting themselves trying to get these rice cakes. It was bedlam. It was insanity. And because I was kind of hanging back and able to watch the scene, I, I guess I saw it just more, more level-headed than anyone else who was actually participating in it. And it reminded me of various scenes like this that I've seen play out over the years. And one of them was back in the year 2000. I went to Chicago from Calgary. I went to Chicago in December 2000 to see the last ever ha 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 concert of the Smashing Pumpkins. I actually traveled. In fact, I didn't go, go to see the last concert. I went to see the second last concert at uh, the United Center because uh, I, I got tickets for that. But the last concert, quote unquote, was at the Metro, which is a small club. It only holds whatever, 500 or 1,000 people or whatever it is. And of course, I couldn't get tickets to that. Um, tickets were being scalped for like a thousand bucks or whatever, but of course I didn't have that. So uh, I was uh, with a bunch of friends and people that I'd met online actually at that point, uh, just outside the club, 
to sort of see what was going on. <clears throat> and of course, there were the uh, there were a few extra spots. They could let a few extra people in. So of course, the bouncers at the club were just letting in a few people. And of course, that just created the same thing as this rice cake scene with people jostling and shoving each other's out of the way and oh pick me pick me and me being me I just detest some part of me deep down just viscerally detests that kind of scene I hate it I want nothing to do with it so even though I wanted nothing more than to be in that concert there was no way I was going to degrade myself by trying to push people out of the way and oh pick me pick me oh, it's was just it's just disgusting humiliating dehumanizing and I wanted no part of it. Same thing with the rice cakes. I'm watching these old grandmas and grandpas jostling with each other to try to get these rice cakes to get a stupid little like box of Kleenex or something. It was just uh, 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 and I'm sure part of it is probably because oh you know it's these have been specially blessed by the priests or whatever. They're special rice cakes right? But it, just it struck me like an arrow through the brain that this is an encapsulation of what we are living through right now. You've heard me say from time to time that it's the, the, all this left right political jostling that goes on is like us fighting for scraps from the master's table rather than going and starting our own table where we have our own party and to hell with the people who want to be the masters. This is the actual instantiation of that. This is what it looks like. It is people literally hurting each other for stupid little rice cakes that mean, uh, th that's just meaningless. It's just stupid. It's, it's literally scraps from the table and people are hurting each other, bustling each other, trying to shove each other over for them. That is exactly what I see happening right now on the societal level. When I see these left-right internecine squabbles that are going on between people who have who are in the same position in society, who are at the same po point, which is the bottom rung of the economic ladder. There's a big club, and you ain't in it. And when I see people hating their neighbors and, and taking all of their frustration out on the people they see and interact with around them, I get it. These are the people you interact with on a daily basis. So your life sucks because your neighbor is a, is a liberal or your neighbor is a conservative. That is absolute uh, not just it's not just nonsense it's dangerous nonsense because of course who ends up in the positions of control who is in control it is always the priestly class whatever you know whatever robes are hiding behind that are standing there throwing out the rice cakes and watching us fight over them rather than us realizing that the entire economic power, let alone every other power of society and civilization, comes from us. It doesn't come from the masters sitting there with their special access to the special inner circle. It comes from us. And us cooperating and us working together would make us a million times stronger than us fighting with each other over the scraps that they're throwing out from Wall Street or whatever other, you know, wizardry palace that they, they happen to be residing in right now. That, to me, is society in a nutshell. It's us fighting over scraps from the master's table, and that, I, again, I wish I'd taken video of it. Maybe I will get to next year, but to see these grandmas and grandpas, like, literally hurting each other just for these stupid rice cakes, it just, it's total nonsense. And I just hope more of us can step back from that, that mad scramble that's going on right now and see it for what it is, because it is harmful, it is stupid, it is only going to end up with people being hurt. And, uh, and it doesn't accomplish anything. Absolutely nothing good comes over fighting for the scraps. So if you want to know about what we actually can do to materially improve our conditions right now, please type the word solutions into the corporate report search bar and start looking at some of those ideas rather than hating your neighbors and plotting how to throw them from helicopters or whatever other nonsense you're being programmed into right now. You're being programmed to hate your neighbors so that you will stay divided and conquered. And until you wake up and realize that is exactly what is happening right now and fight.